Welcome back to Bike Market. Um, Garth has just bought a Viper bicycle. Um, he paid EFT, he got his uh, discount on the bike. Uh, Kane, who is our sales manager, is now going to be doing a quick um, bike setup. Uh, he's just asked uh, Garth a very personal question as to how much he weighs, but that's uh, crucial for us to start setting the bike up and finding out in exactly what he weighs so we can set the bike up uh, in the optimal suspension setup. Uh, a wrong suspension setup can uh, make the bike very unpleasant to ride, too stiff and it's going to be too bouncy. Uh, we've got to look at uh, multiple factors like getting the, the compression ratio right, which is uh, inflating the air chamber to rider weight, both front and rear suspension. Then figuring out what sag we want to use and uh, we'll explain that as Kane goes along. And then we also want to obviously make sure that the rebound rate the rate at which the suspension returns back to the original state is optimal so it doesn't back you or bog down. Um, yeah, simple uh, setup. Suspension is uh, beautiful, but if it's wrong, it, it doesn't work. Uh, Kane, please tell us what you're going to do here. Should demo bikes on 65 Ks. So I'll set this up to about 70 psi. It's currently quite stiff, so I'm just going to release the pressure to get it down to 70. Most of your Fox suspension works on a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, so your kilograms to PSI, and then you obviously want to add a couple of extra PSI for that um, Camelback, uh, extra water bottles, tubes, all that type of stuff. Um, and yeah, cross-country and marathon -y type stuff, you want to set the suspension up a little bit stiffer. If you're somebody that really enjoys the technical stuff, we want to get that suspension a little bit more squishy, and then we'll actually line it up uh, pretty much a one-to-one. -one. Uh, that's on your Fox. On your Rockstock suspension, they typically have a graph that will give you the right uh, PSI setting for your rider weight. That seems like right. Only thing we can now set up the rebound. Excellent. So rebound, we want to check. <coughs> which this, the shock returns. You can see that it lifts the front wheel just a little bit. So I'm throwing some, thrusting some force onto the suspension, activating it. And if I let go, that wheel should stay on the ground and the suspension should return as quickly as possible without the front wheel hopping. So watch the front wheel. See, it's got a little bit of a hop. Now we can start slowing that down just with your rebound control. So that's controlling the rate at which the oil flows through the, the actual circuit. Go. See that front wheel now stays on the ground, shock returns nice and quickly, it's not too slow. If it's too slow, every time you take an impact, the suspension is going to start bogging down. So these are just small little basic things that we need to make sure that a customer leaves here and his bike is going to perform the way it was designed. Now for the rear shock, just to get it as close to accurate as possible, we're going to get Ron to sit on the bike. On a cross-country bike, you're looking to get in about 25% sa sag uh, when Ron gets on the bike. So Ron, Ron. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. later on. Later on. Why did I call you Ron? Oh, These marks, I hate them. <laughs> So what Kane has done here, we've put a zip tie. Some of the, the bikes typically also have a little uh, O-ring on here, which is going to show you how much that suspension compresses, and we call that sag. So once the rider has got his weight on the bike, it pushes up the, um, that uh, zip tie to that point. Now we're going to ask him to gingerly get off the bike and see what the difference is. Gingerly. There we go. And that's as close to damn it as what you want it, hey? That's like a 15% to 20% sag. Um, yeah, that's a really, really nice setup there. So we actually got that one spot on. Now, Kane is going to demonstrate it. He's going to just check that the rebound on the rear is the same. Once again, you don't want the suspension to be too fast because then it starts backing. Too slow, it starts bogging. So we've got to set, it, set that up just right to make sure that we've got the ultimate ride experience. Yeah. Cool. Cool. There we go. Weight is always on your saddle or in your feet? 
So it's the same as a bar fight situation. Uh, if things get rough, you don't want to be sitting in the bar stool. You want to get get onto your feet. Um, that's when the bike suspension does all the work. And uh, yes, don't be scared. Scared to like step. Get that force, force that way. And this is jelly arms. And it's, it's purely for steering. And uh, yeah, once you start doing that skill so you can start understanding what the dynamics. But the biggest tip I can give you is relax your shoulders, relax your arms, engage your core, and whenever it gets rough, you stand up. Say, relax your arms. You can stand in this position for a long time without having to prop yourself up with your arms. So yeah, okay. you're going to love this. Eh? Okay, well, Sport well, yourself. <laughs>